Alumite is made from 5 aluminum, 2 iron and 2 obsidian, so let's see, we've got no aluminum, 10 iron, 2 obsidian, and 5 aluminum. I hope aluminum and tin don't mix. Let's check. Aluminum and copper mix. Copper and tin mix. But aluminum and tin do not. Do we have any copper in here? We do not. Which means that this should all turn into aluminum. Alumite, I mean. Which then we can use on our pickaxe head to make this an alumite pickaxe. Which means that we can go into this nether portal that I made over here. Go into the nether and mine some cobalt and ardite to make manilum. Manilum, 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 manilum. Make this stuff, manilum, and we can make a manilum sword and a cobalt pickaxe. Because if you look into this book, nope, not into this one, the red one. If you look in the red book, which is here, you can see that mm, over here. It shows you that uh, manulum has a uh, mining speed of 9, cobalt has a mining speed of 11, uh, ardite has a thing of 8. Manulum is good because it gives you um, more durability. Cobalt is good because it gives you a fast mining speed. And paper is good because it gives you more modifiers. So for our pickaxe and game plans, a paper mod uh, paper binding, manilin rod, and a uh, cobalt pickaxe head. And for a sword, it's pretty much the same thing, except for sub in a manilin binding, a slime rod, and a manilin rod head. Or, I mean, blade. So let's cast this pickaxe head. This is the uh, second to last we need to do to this and of course we need some bronze ingots which I'm gonna melt actually I could probably just put a pickaxe head on it and it would maybe cost less because this this is gonna cost many 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 of these things to cast I mean to fix I reckon yeah at least maybe two more because there's no way this is gonna fix it yep Okay, so now that we've got this fixed, we can put this on here. Mining level is still obsidian, we've got one modifier remaining, but we have a mining XP which is at 95%, which means that if we go into the nether for a few seconds, mine a few pieces of netherrack, we should actually be fine. So let's just kind of hurry on over here, try not to get killed by anything, I've got some cobblestone got some cobblestone so I can make a barrier around my portal so gas don't blow it up because that would be very nasty okay well our, our, our portal is very well secured already just gonna make a okay well that's not a good noise to hear just instantly also I can hear lava Sometimes when these things are loading, like new chunks in the nether. Ooh, it's the mining uh, netherrack, that's cool. Okay, so what we're looking for... Well, let's... I'm not sure if Enderman get... I mean, Netherman... Nether... Zombie Pigman? Zombie Pigman get angry at you or not? For mining their things, but I know... I think Nether Ores mod... If you mine Zombie Pigman... Ores, or any ore in the nether... They get really angry at you because you think you're like stealing from them. Look at this. Look at th what is this spawn? We spawned right next to this. This is amazing. Incredible. Uh, see, this is what I mean. That's that's exactly what I mean. You hear the noise, right? You hear it. This thing is just loading and it just like pours down your neck. I was stood right there. This would have just. Okay, I'm just gonna make a little barricade around it so I don't like die. And I'm getting very close to this edge here. I'm also out of food. So let's just get this thing leveled up. Get some of that uh, ardite and cobalt. Preferably quite a lot. 
and then I'll make my way back into the overworld because it's not it's not fun being around here, you know, it's scary. Also while we're out here getting all this okay well might as well do this on camera because these these little ore deposits they just very quickly give you levels. Oh, there we go. Alumite pickaxe has now a mining level of Ardite. Which I hope is the same level as Cobalt, because if it isn't, we have to make an Ardite pickaxe head as well. So that's Ardite. Those are Hellhounds. Those are Hellbats. Don't get near them. They're very nasty. And right now we've got a Copper Hatchet as our primary weapon. Which is why I'm getting this Nether Quartz, because Nether Quartz is how you make a sharpened tool. Or how you can sharpen a tool. Which is very nice. Okay. So just into the mind that by accident. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. This gas is not making me feel any kind of confidence. Okay, here's some cobalt. Let's test this. In theory, this shouldn't work. But if it does, it'll be cool. Nope, it's got a mining level of cobalt. Of course it does, because it's cobalt. I don't know what I was thinking. But that sucks, because now we have to make a Ardite pickaxe head first. And then, so basically just take a bit of a longer way out, or longer way to this. Oh, you see that? It's perfect, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Oh, never mind, there's some Ardite here. Cool, cool. So let's pick this up. I'm fairly certain every nether ore is worth four ingots. But... I can't be sure certain of it, but one pickaxe head costs one ingot to cast, and I know every ore, every ore, doubles when put in, put through the smeltery. I'm gonna go through here. Looks very nice and friendly. No ghasts around, no anything, and actually just for future kind of help. I'm just gonna uh, portal. And now, now we. We can like not die. Okay, it spawns on the nether roof, but that's to be expected because, well, there's a roof above us in the nether. Oh, and it's nighttime in, in the overworld, which is not good. Also, a sheep joined my cult of chickens. Actually, it's called a peep. There's a sheep in my peep. Okay, six molten ardite blends very nicely with bronze. So hopefully this is Ardite and not Bronze. Okay, that looks very hellish. It must be Ardite. And we actually need an ingot of Alumite. Which I'm very much not a fan of because... Actually, no, I don't care. We're not going to use Alumite for anything else. So let's cast some of this up. Maybe put some of this wheat back in there. While we're waiting. There we go. And... Nope, that's not what we want. Okay, this. Now it's stone bound. I, uh, uh, okay, so it went from reinforced to two to stone bound. Let's, let's look at this. 1410 durability to 1477. A mining speed of 17 instead of 16.9. This is all very nice, like mining speeds of 17 at this stage. I mean, I can't really say we're too new to this game. We've We've spent two and a half hours. Well, I've spent two and a half hours on this map. So now, if we go back, I don't know why I'm taking the water buckets with me. If if we go back to the Nether right now, we can mine a bit, and we should be able to get some some cobalt. So let's see. We've got five ardite right now. Oh oh. Now that's some um, MVP plays right there. I don't want to hit that guy, but I do. I do want to just be just just in general, just very good at this game, you know. Just like no brags or anything. No, no bragging. Well, I am. Okay. Okay. Nope. Okay. See, I've got iron armor. That's basically makes me invis invincible. Come on. Me, not the you crazy? Okay. Ooh. Okay, let's go. <laughs> no, I'm not very good at aiming. Come on, let's get this guy. He keeps moving. Come on. 
uh, fact about the ghast, the guy who made the music for this game, I don't remember his name, but it's like super cryptic or whatever, like this like robotic name thing. Um, he was he was making just kind of music for this game, and his cat started meowing. So it's like, oh hey, that that, that sounds cool. Um, so I took his cat's meow and like made it kind of just bass boosted it or whatever <laughs> to make it sound like the ghast. And now we've got this ghast like shriek. Oh, you see that? But it hasn't given me a return to sender. I wonder why. Let's see. Ah, because we haven't made a pickaxe. I mean, it's a lie, but it's technically true. Okay, so I just leveled up my picks XP. From expert to master, I am now the highest level of XP on this Ardite pickaxe, and it gave me another level of haste, which, I mean, I can already instrument the uh, netherrack. I just want to go into the overworld and see what it's done to my, um, my stone mining abilities, and even once I add a uh, cobalt, if that'll... I mean, you saw how fast that quartz just got, like, destroyed, so I'm not... I mean... I'm very humble, I'm looking forward to this very much, because it mean I mean, in the nether it's, it's already very fast, but it might be... I mean, it's still gonna be very fast in the overworld. Once we get that cobalt on it, it's just gonna increase the mining level even more. It's gonna increase it by, I think, three. And having this, having just naturally gotten, or basically for free, three levels of haste onto something that would usually cost us 120 redstone, and also cost me patience to actually make this happen or make the redstone. What's that noise? Something that would cost us 150 redstone, and the time it takes for me to contemplate whether it's worth it. This is just given them for, for free. Just the ones that you kind of have to like. The grindy ones, I guess, I want to say. I mean, grind is a bad word for that, but like... I guess the ones that just kind of take, like... The ones that everybody needs on their pick, but it's just like it takes effort to get them. Because you keep, to have, uh, keep having to add things. Which means that now we, we have more mod fine slots for things like moss or the electric one. Where it just kind of... Where you can, instead of having durability, it has a charge. We can charge it up, which is definitely probably the route I'm gonna go for. Even though the moss is gonna be so much more kind of magical and witchery style. So I'm probably gonna go for the moss actually. Okay, so I've just made a few of these, um, these things, and for the sword blade I want a manilum, manilum sword blade. I also want to make an axe and shovel, and since these, since these are both used for um, harvesting, I want to put some more cobalt in there. And in order to stop it wasting lava, I actually did get some more cobalt ore. And there's no more Ardite in here, except that there's one Ardite. Which I'm okay with, because I can take that out. There we go. Stick that in there, wait for that to melt. And while we're waiting for that, I can make us a normal tool rod. Which I actually never may even made a stencil for. Because I've always just had the same one. So let's let's get the stone tool rod, stick that on there. Aluminium brass, last piece that we have of it. I don't know why I took it off and put it back on. Okay. So manual in this thing. Tool rod. And then we need the paper binding. So one, two, three. And then this has to be a straight line. Three paper. So now we go to part builder. I think it's only one paper, yeah, that it costs, stick all those into here, and we can put this on here, put the manual as tool, tool rod, except that it has to be full, we can't replace parts if it's 
even a little bit damaged. But we have cobalt ingots. Oh no 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 no. <sighs> I'm very upset right now. Can I melt this back down? I can. That is very good. Yes I can, that's very good. Okay. Let's just quickly gather up some eggs and then just throw them onto the ground. Heck. Chicken. Hey, he decided to become food. It's a very, very smart decision. Looking at it from my perspective, and from the chickens. Um, so let's let's get some axe head and shovel head action going on. Molten cobalt. So let's get an axe head. Oh, that's a shovel head, but okay. And then an actual axe head. There we go. And that's what I'm talking about. Let's get a cobalt ingot. Let's repair this, even though it would repair over time. Manual and tool rod takes it straight from 1700 all the way up to 3100. Very nice. And then the paper one doesn't take it down, but just adds a modifier. Which means that now we have two other modifiers to add on to this. Which just makes it so so nice. So now we've got some manualin. And actually for these guys, I'm not sure if I want to make a... Because these guys don't have bindings on them, they just get a handle with them. So I'm not sure if I should... Well actually I don't really need... I don't need that many things on them, I only really need haste. So durability is definitely going to be something to look for in these tools, so... Just going to make two of these tool rods. There we go. And we're actually going to be naming these guys. No, we're not. I can't think of a good name. So this is a clumsy skill level. It is comfortable. But I don't I really care about these guys because these ones are going to be so much more useful that they're just they're just going to be like just better like honestly speaking so now all we need is a, a crossbar which is going to be made out of something we do actually need a slime tool rod for this but I think for now I'm going to make this out of not obsidian also manual and man manual manual however you're supposed to say that word I have no idea so we're gonna put just a stick as the handle for now because we can always come back and repair it but I do need something to like deal damage with so right now it's 2.5 hearts of damage with this full rapia so that's still 5 damage that's a little bit better than this, the same as this and actually less than this cobalt hatchet really makes me wonder like, where, where did I go wrong? maybe it's because I don't have much skill on it hmm, let me read my books for a bit okay, so I've just just made myself a uh, manual and up here with just like a normal M tool rod. And now this is not very useful yet, like at all. Once I start adding other cords to it, it'll be much more bet not like much better. But I don't have any slots on it yet, unfortunately. So for now it's just gonna stay kinda use useless. Like, I don't know how long this episode is, hopefully I've edited it in a way where I can get all of this, all of, all of what I've just done into it, but like, I mean, I have to kill a lot of things to get this to level up, that's great. There's a cow. Right now what I'm wanting is a... 
I'm, I'm just kind of looking for a slime island because I need I need a slime I need a slime to make a slime rod for this because it's got it's it's just very very good for um, swords to have a slime rod. Also, now there is slime on this island, which means that if you if you like if you get knocked off. You're, you're done. You're done for. You're dead. Say goodbye because you, you're gonna take a lot of floor damage. Unless you let this water go all the way down. Okay. So let's get to work. Blue slime. Just kind of destroy that kid. Just, just like combo him. Okay. Let's, let's combo him a bit more. It's obviously not getting the whole idea here. Let's just. Uh, just a combo and just do, do, do. okay cool cool we've got the gelatinous slime it smells terrible but if you have nothing else to eat I don't su I don't um, suggest get comboed get destroyed so just kind of do I need this pink stuff slime channel cover because what I need is I need a slime crystal so I guess I didn't need to come up here but now we've got slime uh, saplings which is useful so I'm not really complaining we've got a bit of everything from here now we can use these slime saplings to get some more things so it's just. Oh, I thought. Oh, look at look at how beautiful this looks. Definitely gives me ideas for a swampy kind of look on a on a base sometime. Cause the whole uh, blue, like this very vibrant light blue, flowing this uh, dark dark green color, matches really nice. Okay, back at the base, just kind of sleeping the night away. Um, still below 100%. I see a spider over here. Let's see if this spider will will tip me over 100%. There's two spiders here. This might do it. They're friendly though, so that's that's like okay. See, you can get like three hits while just running at them. Oh, a creeper head. It's incredible. Uh, yeah, applicable up to redstone. See, one of these things would have been really useful like a while ago. And then a zombie head as well. Are you kidding me? Applicable up to copper. I mean, it's no big deal. It doesn't really matter. Okay, there's another creeper. Maybe he'll give me a creeper heart. Maybe he won't. You see, uh, like, you can just kill an entire enemy, just, because I, I thought I was going to die. I thought for sure that I was just dead. But then I just kept clicking, and he kept dying. This is very fast, and I also like how it looks. It looks really nice. And also you can go up to someone and be like, I don't know why I'd want to do that. But yeah, now that we're finally here. Let's, uh start using this to make make something. Now I don't actually know how you make this, but I just I know you have to. So four slime balls and then we put these together with actually let me just empty my water into this chest. Four slime balls, and then what? I think it's shapeless crafting. One sand and one dirt. Is that it? One dirt and one sand. And a crafting bench together shapelessly. Slimy mud. We use that. We smelt it. Okay, let's smelt it. We need this chicken. <laughs> Real nice. And once we've smelted it, can we make one of these? Slime crystal. 
and we just make a tool rod. Hell yeah. Oh. Ah. Now we've got a slime shard as well to use for another tool. That's really nice. And then put that over there. And now, repair this and put this on here. And that makes this a lot, a lot better. Now let's see if we can find something to kill real quick. Okay, there are cows in this direction. There are a few sheep as well, actually. We've got enough sheep around here to just kind of level this up with sheep. Let's see. Okay, 98.3. 98.94 99.36 Okay Let's uh, let's like crit this cow Okay 99.89 Haha I wanna die I'm I'm not happy So I'll, I'll see you guys in the next episode Peace Okay, part of me is like, who is this? The other half, that's who I miss. Always worry, always stress, feeling heavy in the chest. I know I talk about it way too much, but talking about it, man, that's my crutch.